right, the latest cool toys that we're gonna be taking a look at today on the channel are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Toon Turtles from Playmates. This is a reissue of the original figures from 1993. Uh, there was a subsequent reissue back in 1999 as well, but it's been a long, long time since these figures have been out on store shelves. This, as of the making of this video, is currently a Target Online exclusive. Uh, haven't seen any reports of anybody finding this in store, so online only. I'll put a link down in the video description box below. Looking at the packaging though, as with a lot of the four pack and six pack uh, Playmate reissues, you get an overpack case. This one is designed to look like an old television set. Got the nice little manhole cover sewer, city sewer there. The Toon Turtles logo above the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. Of course, we got our action features kind of being shown there on each of the turtles. And again, on the side, the little no foot clan symbol. Let's go ahead and open the box. Uh, on top, you get the little rabbit ear antenna, some chewing gum, a pizza. A carrying handle. I don't know why they bother with that because I can't imagine a whole lot of people are just carrying this around like lunch pail, but I applaud them for their effort. I'm actually super stoked to see Playmates continuing with these classic turtle reissue releases. Really hope they kind of continue on with that trend. We got the blimp and the party wagon earlier in the year, and then we've got a couple of figures throughout last year, year and a half, uh, prior to these Toon Turtles, we got the Sewer Heroes figures. Oh, look at that, they even got the tissue paper in between to make sure your cards don't get all scratched and scuffed up. That's a nice little thing. But City Sewer Heroes, the classic figures themselves, the party wagon, the blimp. Playmates has been reissuing quite a bit of the Turtles line, and I'm all for it. Uh, I hope they kind of continue that trend and go full in, all out kind of in the same vein of the Mattel Masters of the Universe Origins line where we're getting, you know, new updated versions of the old figures that are, you know, new and better and more improved and things like that. But looking at the card back right here, it is pretty faithful to the original card back. A lot of times with these reissues, they make some, you know, big graphical changes or put it on some sort of different card back to differentiate it. But all in all, I mean, this is pretty spot on to the original 1993 card back. It's even got the same text here up in the bubbles. Uh, one thing to note is the television sets. Each turtle comes with the same accessories for the most part. Their weapons, turtle communicator, pizza, and a television set. Uh, the original figures had a little lenticular graphic there on the TV set that was unique to the turtles. Uh, on this release, they're all the identical ones and there's no kind of lenticular color change or anything like that. And of course the back is gonna be slightly different as well. Nickelodeon branding, yada, yada, yada. But you do have the action feature access there so you can sit there and Play with it without having to actually remove it from the card back so if you're a you know mint on card person and you want to display these in the card you can still show your friends and family the cool features of each one of these figures so oh yeah that's right his is a slide wheel I'm trying to make sure i don't give myself a paper cut on this cardboard but there we go the tongue out action looking at their weapons though i mean they're if you're not familiar with the toon turtles line they're meant to you know closely resemble the television cartoon animated Fred Wolf style that was on television at the time, whereas the normal Playmates figures didn't necessarily look like the cartoon. So Playmates came out with this line to mimic what we were seeing on our televisions on those Saturday morning cartoons. Got the nice shiny gloss paint, so that's good. Uh, and all the weapons, as you can see, are like super over the top. They look like balloon animals. That's the way it should be. That's the way it's supposed to be. So, I mean, Props to Playmates. Let's go ahead and get these off the card back because I'm a out of the box kind of guy. And we'll check them out a little bit closer. All right, and here we have our fearsome foursome out of the package. And like I said, all the television sets are identical. Hollow on the backside. They don't really stack inside each other or anything like that, but it's nice that we get those. Each turtle has their own turtle communicator. Turtle communicators are color coordinated. They all have the exact same image stickers on them. They do have this nice little handle there. That way you can put it inside the turtle's hand, have them hold it. And of course, each turtle comes with two weapons. These are very, like I said, cartoony. They look like a balloon animal, very soft, pliable rubber. You don't have to worry about these snapping or anything like that. Um, specifically, Michelangelo's nunchucks. Um, these, you know, the old classic nunchuck from Michelangelo in the Playmate original release was prone to snapping. This is, you know, being a softer rubber, you don't have to worry about that. There is nowhere on the back of the turtles to store an extra weapon or anything like that. So you'll have to put both weapons in their hands or store one somewhere else. And each turtle of course comes with their own individually colored pizza. That way nobody's stealing anybody else's slices. 
But scale wise, look wise, I mean, these are pretty faithful to the original release. The only really difference is some slight shade differences on the, the turtles themselves. And then, you know, some 2021 copyright branding on the bottom of their feet. But the action features and everything look great. Spit out tongue. Posability on these guys. It's gonna be the same articulation as your standard Ninja Turtle Playmates figures. Uh, the good side about these, you know, they have the flat feet, so you don't have to really struggle to balance them or anything like that. But I mean, they look great. Man, that goes fast. Like Donatello's getting ready to take off like a freaking helicopter there. And of course, Leonardo is probably my favorite one with the eye bugging. He's got the silliest weapons because, you know, they just look like giant bananas in his hands. And of course, Raphael with his turtle communicator inside there. Man, that thing gets going. If you're interested in picking up these turtles, like I said, I put product link down in the video description box below. $49.99 is the current retail price on Target's website. And I definitely think you should check these out. Specifically, if you never had the originals or you're looking to replace an old beat up dingy ones, or maybe you're trying to get a, a separate set for the kids, these are an excellent must have for any Turtles fan. That is it for this video review. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends who found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.